Sometimes you get an urge to try something out in Boom Beach. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Especially going against the Beastly Crab. When I saw this stage, I saw all the cryo bombs and was like, I really want to try something with Grenadier. So that was the main um, culprit behind my urge here. But looking at rocket launchers, I'm a bit terrified of trying this out. Um, but I think we have to start the chain reaction of cryo bombs. Otherwise, you know, we might be in for a bad time. I know grenadiers and bombardiers, they like to get separation, but these are just too close of cryo bombs um, for us to risk it. Anyway, we'll get them, most of them popped here. And then uh, once the ones on the beach are done, we should be good to place them down. But I am a bit scared. Like I said, there's rocket launchers and we are only on stage 27 but it is the beastly crab so you know those rocket launchers might be hidden a little bit extra today first shock bomb completely with one of the rocket launchers and now we got a shock launcher breathing down our neck destroying us but you know what we got we got some medics and we got a med kit um yeah this is you know looking at uh, how we're progressing so far the damage not quite there and we have been spending a lot of shock bombs on these rocket launchers so I don't think I'm gonna have a great time with this strat but when I get the urge to do something and it turns out to be complete garbage and useless usually that urge never comes back again unless it's using all medics in, back in the base builder days those were those were some tough days but anyway we're gonna make sure oh that rocket launcher was turned on some critters that was a mistake but i think we might be able uh i was gonna say we might be able to take out this stage too many rocket launchers um for us to get our hopes up but the good news is we have quite a few grenadiers and bombardiers left and we know the bombardiers whenever you've got some left they always there, there's always a chance you just never know but uh yeah if we lose we lose those grenadiers and the rocket launchers you know start hitting on the bombardiers might have to call it the other good news that i see um is we got some cryo bombs uh kind of by the rocket launchers we also have 115 energy we're gonna go ahead pop this cryo bomb right here and we should be able to be fine with this rocket launcher it's actually not doing as much damage as i was expecting partly because there is a grenadier health boost in the tribes over on the right here i see that boom cannon snipping away at some of my troops that is a no-no um and i thought we had more energy than we actually did you know this far into the attack everything is so expensive maybe i should have been expecting that but we're gonna go get a shock onto the rocket launchers there and we're just gonna let this play out we might have enough medics alive to kind of hustle our way to the end here um, but we still have two shield generators to get through. We're, we're doing good damage, but we just gotta hope we can continue that. Down to four bombardiers. Maybe I should have repositioned player. Actually, I think having them spread out like this is good, because now the rocket launchers are kind of splitting allegiances here. Some are going for the troops, some are going for the critters. Down go the shield generators. And what was I talking about? We had no chance with this. We're going to be able to take out stage 27. So it's only stage 27. You know, the expectation at this level is that I'm able to take it out. But I have yet to lose an attack and we are getting very close to stage 30. I've gone over how usually there's one uh, there's one stage in the 20s that get me. We have not reached that point and we're into abstract uh, strats here. Um, which isn't too bad actually considering the boosts we have for the grenadiers in the tribes and bombardiers you know they kind of work with anything so that's good anyway we'll get our troops down here let the shock blasters go for the critters as soon as it turns over there it was turned into more critters i don't know why i shocked it but i think that's going to help us out um but on the other hand the critters will be taken out by our grenadiers so that's not good but I guess we have a steady stream of critters coming in with Everspark always. That is the goal behind Everspark, just that constant stream of critters. I don't want to say it's OP, but it definitely helps out quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and get a shock onto the shock launcher. Might get my troops right there. We're going to get two shocks out, actually. Um, and also... I think those boom mines are going to be an issue. We'll get a box of critters, take out the one, and artillery should take out the other. Now this is where I, it gets a bit dicey. Hopefully the critters 
can keep coming. We're gonna throw box of critters out, and we're gonna shock right here. And we're gonna let our troops do their thing for a minute. We're gonna go three barrages up in this area here. Because I think if we get rid of these rock launchers, that gives us a good path to victory. Only took out one so far. We'll get another barrage in there. Hopefully that can take out the reps. Rest. If not, we might be in some trouble. Over on the left here, we're going to get these critter hubs procced. And we're going to shock the SEMO because um, that would be trouble. Grenadiers walk in completely through a minefield. I don't know how they all didn't die there. But I guess the Grenadier Health OP, they're going to continue to walk through. But we got medkits galore on there helping us out. And now maybe we should throw some shocks over here. But we don't have enough energy for shocks, plural. And this might be our match for a stage. I think we finally are going to lose one. Unless we can get enough energy here to get rid of the boom mines. But Everspark is dead, meaning no more critters. And... We just have so many defenses to get through still. Oh my gosh, let's get... Yeah, that's a mistake. Um, so yeah, we have lost our first stage here. Um, first attack. The good news is I don't usually spend most all, all my attacks in my good crab. I usually um, don't go all out. So I guess I shouldn't be too worried about it. And we did pretty well for how initially in that first stage, my initial diagnosis after we got a couple... Uh, things in there um, I could have wow I, I kind of trolled there I could have got my bombardier out of range um, going ooh, that stinks anyway I'm just gonna retreat one grenadier um, we're better off just going back to base retraining our troops and just taking out this stage 28 um, I think I oh I guess there was a bombardier left too yeah, I don't think one Bombardier and one Grenadier would have gotten through four shield generators, but you never know. Like I said, you got one or two Bombardiers alive. You're always in the fight, unless there's like two seconds left, but we definitely would have ran out of time, but that's okay. Still could have tried. Anyway, we'll go ahead and take out these boom cannons here. Two barrages, get some artillery out as well. Let's see how much... Um, it takes for us to take these out we'll just continue to throw artillery until they get taken out down go th those three and now i guess we'll go for the shield generators first that is a good move grenadiers and bombardiers i see you uh slowly moving over there bombardiers kind of slow compared to grenadiers tragic but um usually with mega crab you won't be running up that far anyway we'll get a flare onto the core and an easy second attack or a tragic first attack, depending how you want to look at it. Down goes stage 28. Alright, I think a good goal for this stage will be to take it out in two. This is the first stage I look at, and I'm really like, okay, you know, now we're getting down to business a little bit on the Mega Crab. Let's pop these cryo bombs and just hop into it here. A lot of boom cannons. We can get through that first, uh, the first, it, it, the whole line of boom cannons here. It's just a whole section at this point. Um, maybe we can find a way to win this battle somehow, but I think our odds are quite bleak looking at um, this right away. A, a preemptive shock bomb we're, we're throwing out over there. Maybe it was a waste because our troops still have a lot of separation to get from these. Um, so that was just a complete waste. Um, but now we can actually go ahead and shock them. And we're going to spend a lot of our energy dealing with those. I think of what I was... Oh no, where do we want to go? Our, our troops are favoring the right, so I think I'll end up going that way. Um, boom cannon's going for it. Um, once we get... Oh man, I should probably get a flare, start directing our troops. We're going to flare them over here. We're going to get uh, those boom cannons. We're kind of picking off some of my troops. You don't love to see that, but... Um, I guess we've lost a few grenadiers in the past. We just need a few. Grenadiers are here for a little bit of protection on the bombardiers and also taking out mines. We have cryo bombs to take out mines as well. So uh, maybe maybe I should have taken more boats of bombardiers with this strap. But I'm liking the way this is unfolding. I thought I would have lost more on the initial section of cannons and boom cannons there. But now we got some different animals to tackle here. That being the rocket launchers we are about to face. We'll go ahead, throw a shock out. If one or two rocket launchers are hitting my troops, I think we're fine to heal ourselves up. Um, also, the critters like to distract that as well, but 
like when you got three hidden on the troops then the medics just can't keep up and there's also a shock launcher in the general area i think our troops should be able to oh my gosh they that's the dangers of grouping our troops up like that is one shock launcher just completely disables them um, and the rocket launchers are starting to get the best of me. The medic's doing a great job. They're doing a great job holding us up for now. But the... Oh, yeah. They are starting to hurt. We'll get another med kit out. Um, two might as well. And I, I, this is just sad because we needed more energy for shocks here. If we could shock a shock launcher, that would be clutch. But we're just not making much progress um, in between the shocks from the shock launcher. Um, and I think this is going to be definitely a two attacker, but we are like, oh, if I just had a little bit more energy, maybe we could have made this work, but it's like shock bombs are so expensive, 42 energy a piece. And it's like, I can't be just sitting with the energy here. Got to throw out critters and all that. I just have the urge to, um, but I think we can just hug them along the right hand side. I'm not sure it's going to be worth going for those two shield generators the extra ones because we'll subject our troops in the next attack to even more as the final medics decease but now we have a great path going in you know from the first from the first opinion I had on that attack I thought we would be in rougher shape I guess I didn't think it would go that well but then as we kind of peeled the onion back I was like you know we actually got a chance and then you know we kind of got stuck at the end there and it, it's just a bad feeling all around when you're given hope after not having any and then that hope is destroyed you know if you get it you get it um that that's kind of what this strat is like um the urge i definitely had at the beginning you know it, it's not completely gone but after seeing my grenadiers almost face death right there maybe it is completely gone oh that's just using grenadiers um, but I thought it would be a little bit too predictable to use, um, you know, my classic Scorcher and Bombardier Strat or, or all mechs again. I, I did that one on Friday or Saturday, I guess. Um, but we, we couldn't avoid the Bombardiers, you know. We had to bring the Bombardiers. It's mega crap. You have to be competitive at least a little bit here. And we are starting to clean this up. Um, rocket launchers, you know, getting on my nerves a little bit. But I think... Due to the inaccuracies of the Grenadiers, we should be able to slowly pick them off here as we shock intermittently here. Go ahead, get a couple more out, and we should be good. Oh, I thought we would take out that rocket launcher. This one, this one's giving me a bit of a headache. We'll barrage double artillery, take it out, and now all the rocket launchers are in front of us, which means, I don't know really what that means, but just, I, I would rather see it in front than from the side, because from the side, they're just slowly... Actually, maybe from the side it would have been better to keep that one up because they're just focusing on, like, the closest troop, which is only one of them. So maybe it, it's just a bad breakdown from my end. But it worked out in the end as it only took us two attacks, which is two, one too many for a stage in the 20s. But we made it to stage 30 with 39 attacks. 38, excuse me. We lost, we lost a couple. I forgot. Uh, but that is the medic. Why, why'd I lead with medics there? That is the Grenadier, Bombardier, and Medic strategy versus the Mega Crab. Thanks for making it to the end, but we'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.